waiting for the two East Blues. Well, Ray Warren, we've said it so many times, this atmosphere will fire this side up. Do you think they're good enough? Well, I think they're good enough, although I do think that these fellows will take out the match, and I think they'll wrap up the series for 1992. On paper, they look stronger to me. We lost Bradley Clyde early in that match in Sydney. We don't expect that to happen again. And the return of Ricky Stewart, I think overall New South Wales has a better chance of winning this match tonight than they did back at the Sydney Football Stadium. Bill Harrigan's in charge of State of Origin 2 for 1992. Controversial selection nevertheless. 31-year-old special weapons and operations section of the police force, his third Origin match. Bill Harrigan and Peter Sterling, he's expected to keep them back this time, the big five. Well, I think that's important, Darrell, as Rod Wishart gets play underway. So well, Queensland, first use of the ball. Back they come and watch the wall of blue go in. Walters acting half. This, sorry, Darrell, we'll see a kick very early. A lot of kicks early in this ten minutes. They certainly won't want to be with the football early. They want to set their platform with defence and hopefully force an error down the other end. Bella. Bella goes in fired over the top, Shearer and underneath. They fire it back for the clearing kick. Hurry, though, and bustle. Shearer hurries his kick in. Very deep. Eddinghausen has a fumble, but it goes back behind him and makes a couple before he's brought down. So the Blues now with the ball. And they're midway between the quarter and a half. They're into the ground. Drop ball already. Queensland back in possession. Through uh, Gary Larson. Waiting to fire it out to Langer. Langer there looking for Meninga. Meninga with a big shoulder bust there. And they're centre field inside the Blues territory by 15 metres. Up they go again. Queensland now have made uh, some good territory. They're 32 metres out. Larson again getting involved very, very early, almost at the quarter line. Yeah, it's good to, see, good to see Larson getting involved early. Cop that bad knock. There was talk. He might have been gun shy, but Queensland throw it wide. Jackson. Jackson wrapped up pretty quickly, though. Jackson has come in from the centre to the 5-8 for this game. He was looking for a penalty. It wasn't there. Bella. Bella met, though, by Sirenen. Down low, over the top, of course. That's the fifth tackle. Jackson kicks it. Going back for it, New South Wales. They'll have to handball it out, and they do. A pressure kick. A good start by Queensland. They did force the error. They were able to hold the ball for six tackles, and on the last, Peter Jackson rolling one into the end goal here. Very clever play. They'll get the ball back from the line, drop out. Mackay had a little bit of trouble getting it out. But Queensland started well and will have another set of six in the New South Wales half. Peter Jackson will dig deep into his big bag of tricks tonight. So the Blues now clear from under the post. Nice looking drop kick to almost flight out of the halfway. Taken by Shearer. Shearer builds up some momentum. They meet him with some big defence. He clears the ball though. So Queensland now staying to run it. Again it's Larson out wide doing some damage out there already. Queensland bringing play back into centre field. Lots of defence going in. Hancock will play it back to Walters. Walters looking for the runners. It's uh, Linda. Bobby Linda, who a lot of people said was very, very quiet in the first game. Waiting for a big one here. Jackson with a nice ball inside there. Now they're inside the 22 centre field. They've got the option both plays. Now Langer. Langer on to Meninga. Meninga. Meninga with a push. And a pass for Meninga. That's the Meninga of old now. Big Bell's back. Fighting for Queensland tonight. Langer. Watch for the chip. There it is, the step. He regains Langer too. Fires it back for Shearer. Shearer winds up. On Rose outside. They're still going. Offside straight away. We hear the booing. Last tackle. Langer knew that he had to keep the ball alive. Went to Dale Shearer. Looked as though they were going to score in the corner. As Bill Harrigan again stops play and calls out Peter Jackson. Jackson must have had something to say. Yeah, he certainly must have. I think that Brugger erred in not passing on the in the first place. He had, had the man drawn. He should have drawn and passed. And it was try time. As he did, he held it up and got pinged for a forward. Simple overlap play. Wasn't a call if he lets it go. Well, here he's got he's got his man drawn there. If he, Eddinghausen was 100 to one to stop Maninga, as it was forward pass. Martin Bellas had plenty to say about that. Let me tell you, he come back on side and look at the defence now coming in from the Reds. They're just building in as hard as they can. New South Wales through Sheridan. Sheridan gets wrapped up and put down. Only 10 minutes out of the ring. It's on. State of Origin has picked up her and leaves off. A bit of push.
push and shove, nothing too serious in that at all. Well, the boy's getting a little bit carried away. Martin Bella throwing a little left there, keeping it Bella going. Bella and Clyde, Bella and Clyde. Well, Bella's, Bella's been fuming over the decision of Harrigan, saying no try. Well, it's not up to him to fume, Darrell. They've got to have some discipline play here. Phil Gould looking a little bit concerned. Both touch judges on. Steve Roach got him a bit fired up out there early in the game. Yeah, Marty Bella having a few words to say at the moment, but uh, well, because of that forward pass, but uh, he'd be well just to quieten down and get on with the game. Well, Bobby Lindner just walked past him and pat him on the shoulder and said, settle, big fella, settle. I thought Clyde handled him pretty well, Block. Yeah, good punches from Bradley Clyde there. It's good to see a bit of old Biffo in the state of origin, mate. So Billy Harrigan has Bella, Clyde, Meninga all in there. Here we go. Here's Sirenen going in. The big shoulder charge came in. The well, shot over the top as he goes down. And that was the one that upset the New South Wales players. Peter Jackson coming in with a swing arm. Lazarus spelled it down. But they're in the danger zone for Queensland. They clear it now. Stewart and again another penalty for New South Wales. Stewart wants to go on with it. He's pushing Jackson out of the way. Well, Bill Harrigan really has to keep the lid on on this some ten minutes. There. Ten I minutes. think it's Jackson. Ten minutes. I no, think Bella. It's Bella. Well, Bella's you know too experienced to do this sort of thing. Mouthing off. He's been around for a long time. Well, hang on. Well, both both of them well, I saw him wave. Hang on, one at a time, guys. I saw him wave Jackson off first up, and Bella's gone too. Well, what a situation now for Queensland. Well, very unfortunate. Nobody likes to see this happen. Peter Jackson going off, Martin Bella just all got carried away. Ricky Stewart going for the quick tap here, Jackson stopping him. Again, some words. Billy Harrigan, well, he sent Jackson straight off for that chatting. They'll talk about this. Oh, believe you me, they'll talk about this. Bill Harrigan, of course, the referee from New South Wales. Queensland too shy for 10 minutes. A penalty way out in front. Oh, nerves are steel. Yeah, but this is not good from Queensland. And two players off just for simple back chatting. They, they're experienced players. They know that there's only one winner when someone talks to the referee, and that is the referee. Well, Blocker has wish hard line just went up. Silly play from Queensland. Yeah, bad play. There's only one player you won't get over the top of there tonight, and that's Billy Harrigan. Wishard, no mistake, right over the black dots. So New South Wales leading Queensland 2 0. And oh boy, what a start. They're always firing, they're always talked about, but boy, oh boy, two off. Sheer up. Carries the football back. Does well. Gets it 25 metres out from the line. Away now. Billy Moore. Taken in a joint tackle by Daly and McGregor. Here comes the boys out of the sin bin. Bella and Jackson back on. Allen. 15 metres out from the line. Peter Jackson. Folding into his 5'8 position. Martin Bella takes it ahead. Five metres out from the line. Steve Walters. Langer. Cuts out two. Let's them go. Shearer. Shearer looks to give it back on the angle. Runs it wider. Still going. Arc-like run taken by Bronca. Bronca. Not held. Tries to slither across. Two metres from the line. This is the last. Shearer's going to try and grab her through. And New South Wales, did they clean up or knock on? They knocked on. Yeah, E.T. a little knock on there. And now Queensland, they're 13 men. It's they who are putting pressure on the Blues line. Here it is, Eddinghausen just went for it. And just a fumble. Good pressure from the Queenslanders. Well, Steve Roach, very quickly, Queensland would have to build in confidence from yeah. being able to play like they did with just 11 men. Yeah, they certainly will. And uh, what a great game Alfie Langer's had. If Wally Lewis is uh, the king of Lang Park, then uh, Alfie Langer sure has to be the prince. Here they go to the left, and uh, Mal Meninga turning it inside for Gary Larson. Three metres out from the line. This is their second tackle as it goes through Langer. It's gone out to Mal Meninga, and he gets it away. It's been flung back. It's a try. It's a try for the Queenslanders. And there's no team that can keep an opposition side Billy out. Moore has it all, Mark Coyne. It is Billy Moore. You cannot keep teams out for 12, 18 tackles at this level with the kind of attacking power that are in both of these teams. The ball went wide. Langer picked up Mal Meninga, hit his partner Coyne in the centres, and Coyne was able to get a great ball back to Billy Moore. His first state of origin game, his first try in state colours. Oh, lovely piece of work here by Mark Coyne, just flicking that ball up. Lovely ball. 
And Billy Moore, what a debut for him. I like the finger work here. That's my first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like the boy. Up went the finger. Billy Moore in his very first state of origin match, and he picks up a try. Meninga taking the attempt at conversion. Strikes it sweetly. He might have pushed it a bit. No goal. Queensland lead New South Wales. Four points to two. And a comment from Steve Roach before Darrell Eastlake. Well, Mal Meninga certainly is the ball player in the back in the back line there. But what about Mark Coyne straight running? That was a great try and a great ball to Billy Moore. Eddinghausen comes across to cut it off on the 22. Decides to run at Eddinghausen. Well, I don't know if I can go along with that tactic from Dale Shearer. You've really got to have the football in your hands at some times. And they have burned up a lot of juice, of course, because they've had to do the work of two men for that 10-minute uh, period early in the game. So I think Queensland need to have the football and need to to make the New South Wales defence work on it. Mark White. The ball came from deep. Well, how much will it take out of Queensland playing with 11 men for 10 minutes? Well, it may take something out late in the game. You know, they've, they've rallied. They're playing on adrenaline still. They're in, on, in front on the scoreboard. Uh, sure, deciding to run the ball this time, but maybe later on there's plenty of replacements there, so I think they weathered the worst part of it. Langer, Langer fires a short one out, there's plenty of takers too. A try scorer there, Billy Moore. Wrestled down, 32 out from their line. They seem to be making ground a lot more easy than New South Wales. As Bella comes up, they slam him down. And there's a little short one went in there on Bella. A nice elbow from Lazarus, sure didn't was. miss him. Look at this defence though. One down low, one over high. There's a few swinging arms there too. Billy Harrigan decides it's time to award a penalty and has a talk to New South Wales on the walk there. Well, he's got them for three markers there. The three fingers went up and he actually counted them out for New South Wales. And there they are, the third man getting back into position too late. Touch judge in. Yeah, this will be on Glenn Lazarus. This will be for... Lazarus on the little short elbow he gave to Bella. No love lost there. Well, it was pretty visible from where we were sitting. Big Glenn Lazarus has carried the tag of the tough man in the Blues pack this year. But I can't see that as toughness. You know, the toughness in this game is to hit a bloke with a shoulder moving up in defence. That, that, that was a cheap shot. He's been called out and spoken to about it. We see... We see here, well, it was half elbow, half forearm, but that's certainly not necessary. I'm sure that it didn't hurt Martin Bella. Langer, Langer, out for Walters, Walters. They get it on a brunker. And as we predicted, Kevin Walters has gone on for Peter Jackson. He'll slot into the 5-8 spot. Last tackle, Alan Langer again to put the ball to boot. It's come back to Gary Larson. It's still the last tackle. And he's got that ball away to Kevin Walters. Alan Langer chasing. McCoy gets there just in time. Oh, Mackay with a big save. Big save then with Ray Warren. The pressure on New South Wales has been enormous. And Langer really staying to take this game by the scruff of the neck. Stewart again switching it back to the blind. Daly kicks ahead. Gets a fairly favourable bounce. It's weighted beautifully. And Shearer takes it over the touch-in goal line. Line drop out to New South Wales. They'll come back with the ball for six more in three and a half minutes remaining before the break. Yes, but Dale had no choice there. He only had a, a metre to work in, three men right in front of him. He, did, he took the best option, just put it out over the touchline. Now, he can just hold out for another six. And the way they've been tackling, they'll do it easily. Queensland soaking up time, soaking up rain as well. Bill Harrigan with the hands in the air calling time out. As the Queenslanders probably start to show the effects of that 10 minute period with only 11 men. So time back on for Dale Shearer to put the football back into the action. Eddinghausen giving it away for Brad Mackay to take it back. Sloppy play the ball and look at Alfie Langer wrapping them up big and small alike. Now Elias, I thought for a moment he may have given a penalty but he's got one. Langer's yeah. not happy. Have a look at the face on Alan Langer. Well, Meninga's not happy either. He's racing there to see what's going on. Lots of chit-chat. Langer feels that uh, Elias offended. Now, here's the first tackle. Nothing's wrong with that. Langer's getting off him. And then Ben Elias trying to get up appears as though he trips Alan Langer. And that's what's caused the argument. 
It's but been here's a, a chance it's been for a, New South Wales to level up. Been a trip, Ray. Alfie was dead set trying to get off him. I don't think that penalty should have been given. All bias aside. Strikes it. There's the head on shot of it. No doubts. Flags are up. They acknowledge it. And four points all. So, State of Origin won. We went to the break at 6 6. And tonight it looks as though we're going to the break again with a deadlock on our hands. This goes to show, Ray, how even these two sides have been over the last few years. Just great footballers. Graham Lowe looking on there. He'd be quite happy. Mark Murray on his left, the Eastern Suburbs coach. They'll get together at half time. We start of the play. Ninga sending it deep down into the New South Wales in goal. Clyde comes back. Clyde, just a half break, getting it within about three metres of the 22 line. Harrigan. I think he's been about the best of their forwards, Ray, in the first half. He's tackled very strongly, hit the ball up very hard. Just 30 seconds of the first half remaining. Ben Elias into dummy half. That's the one try in the match so far, scored by Billy Moore, the New South, the, the North Sydney utility forward. Two goals for Rod Wishart. The Stewart puts it down for Dale Shearer. Leads the charge down the ground. And the siren to bring on the half-time break is only a matter of seconds away. Dale Shearer slowly to his feet. The siren sounds. Bill Harrigan calls half-time as the rain tumbles down here at Lang Park and the players file from the ground. What a sensational first half of rugby league it was. High on excitement, high on drama, with the scoreline, four points all. Al Meninga drives the ball off for the second half. We're locked up here at four all. The Blues with a lot of work to do, and Queensland, of course, if they can win this game, they level the series. If New South Wales win it, they'll take the series. And also, the Great Britain side arriving in Australia today, they'll be taking on Australia in a three-match te test series coming up. So the green and gold jumpers up for grabs as well in this series. Lazarus comes up and meets the, the red wall just over the 22. About 26 metres out from the line now. Elias fires it back already for the kick for Ricky Stewart. Stewart a lot deeper this time, but Shearer well positioned again. And Shearer returns the compliment straight away to... Will it find the line of the good night? No, just stays in the field of play. Daly this time, he belts it back. Shearer underneath it again. Geez, positional play has been sensational. Again he returns it. Not too many times we see the fullbacks having a kicking duel, or the teams having a kicking duel as it is. Of course, Eddinghausen is back on the wing for New South Wales at the moment. They drive the ball back again, once again, straight down Dale Shearer's throat. Shearer with all the time in the world, standing his ground, looking to see which way he's going to kick it. He decides to boot it right down deep in the same corner. Well, this is very interesting, Dale. Not many people would take Ricky Stewart on in a kicking duel. But Dale Shearer hasn't lost too much here. Although Stewart now has got a good one between the two players right back on the try line. So Shearer returns it once again. Well, we haven't seen this in State of Origin for a while. Daly takes it. Now, New South Wales is starting to win this kicking duel. They're certainly getting the territorial advantage and as Wishart comes onside. through. Wishart brings it back onside, so Shearer's got to run the ball. And New South Wales won that duel. Yeah, great play by New South Wales. I was surprised in the end they didn't run it because they gained 30 or 40 metres out of that kicking duel. Interesting to note that Daly has gone back to fullback. A big decision by Phil Gould. He's their captain, and he'll now lead the way from the back. Pick his moment to come into that back line. Meninga, Meninga met with a wall of blue jumpers, and they bury him. 32 metres out from his own line. The captain leading by example tonight, reacting to criticism that he's received in the last couple of weeks or so. Bobby oh. Linder, good run by Bob Linder. Oh, sensational run by Bobby Linder. That'll lift the whole Queensland side. Now they put it down. Shearer scoops it up. Not backwards. Six more tackles, says Harrigan. Maroons, five metres into Blues territory. Moore. Salvatore low. Elias over the top. McClay powers it up. First receiver play. Now it's Gavin Allen. 
turns on the power, gets it to the 22 line. Four points all, and the crowd are roaring now. Langer. Jackson's run in. Langer into space. Long ball out to Branca. Turn back inside. Snuffed out. Meters from the line on five. Point of was who died with the ball. Langer tries to drop her into the end goal. Cleaned up by the Blues. Brad Fittler the player. And he was the man that got across with Laurie Daly to save New South Wales a try there. Good play from the, the young centre from New South Wales. Bradley Fittler certainly needed there. And Daly got across in numbers as well. Yeah, but what about when Langer puts that, that foot down? It's alarm bells. Red alert for the Blues. Well, every time they go wide, they do look dangerous. They look to create numbers. We saw from a scrum win there once. Hancock and Dale Shearer created numbers out wide. They didn't pass, but they are numbering up very poorly in defence out wide, New South Wales, and will get caught eventually. Yeah, it's only a matter of time still, eh? Lazarus is off. Gillespie has gone on. A mistake! Cleaned up by oh. Daly. Gary Larson, Larson was on him. Gary Larson coming through. We've seen him score tries like that in club football. The charge down. He got there, was able to keep Stewart's kick from travelling any distance. Here we see him come through. A great chase, the hands up, straight through the legs of Laurie Daly, and he had to cover up. Gary Larson forced him in the end goal. Those kind of plays change games. Hancock, again, coming in, showing the footwork. And, oh, has, the, has he been uh, stolen the ball from him? Yes. Yeah, silly play by Brad Fittler on this occasion. He had the man tackled. All he had to do was get up and mark up, but he wanted to muck around on that play the ball. And now a chance for Meninga to put two points on the board. Hancock goes across. Fittler gets him in a good one, then wanted to pull him around. So Mal Meninga will take a shot at goal. The tiebreaker is with us. Now. Can he break it? Oh, I think he's taken a pretty big divot. He has. He's muffed it badly. OK, well, Ray Warren, New South Wales, working their way into a field goal position. Yes, and we come up with Bradley Mackay, but is this, is this heart-stopping or what is it, guys? What a tense struggle we're seeing here. Ricky Stewart's the Now, man. Stewart is in position to go for it, drops it onto the boot, and he gets it up in the air. Misses. And he just misses. Paul Horton, super coach, knew what was coming up. Well, there was only a ward in that one. Didn't miss by far. They set it up. They went on the fourth rather than the fifth. He seemed to have plenty of time, but some good pressure by the Queensland inside. And just spoiled his kick at the last second. Wow. I wonder just how close that was. Off the boot of Rick Stewart. Queensland now. They will uh, grind it down. The they, they've given New South Wales an opportunity. Well, they're shooting themselves in the foot, the Maroons here. That's the third time in a row in their own half they've dropped the ball on the first or second tackle. New South Wales, they might do the same again. They'll set it up for that field goal. Brad Mackay. Salvatore. Darren Smith is on for Bobby Linder in the Queensland side. Seven and three-quarter minutes to go. Stewart, the wide ball away for Carter. Carter comes in for a cruncher. 30 metres out from the Queensland line. New South Wales working to set Stewart up again. Gillespie. 22 metre line on your screen. Elias. Back it comes for Stewart. He has another go, but this one he's pushed wide. And it goes over the dead ball line. Yes, young Darren Smith from the Canterbury Club in Sydney. He's packing into the front row. As Langer works this scrum. One of the last scrums of the match. Shearer, Walters, Coyne, he looks to make the break, but he's cut down. Grassing tackle there by Laurie Daly. New South Wales with their back turned as they're getting back on side. An elementary mistake, and Shearer pinches 15 metres. Well, I just wonder who Queensland will look for to kick a foot. Well, they're not going to have an opportunity in this set of six. Knock on rule by Bill Harrigan. Certainly New South Wales are more adept in the kicking department, although Ricky Stewart has missed two already. They've got Elias from dummy half as Coyne knocks the ball forward. Ricky Stewart can kick field goals. They'll be looking to work that once again with only two minutes left on the clock. New South Wales with Carter. Bad pass for Daly. Now Fittler. He tries to step, but it's not a night that's conducive to his kind of stepping. There's a knock on. Opportunity time for Queensland. Been very well contained as Bradley Fittler has made a couple of mistakes too, showing his inexperience. This may be the worst one of the night. Actually bounced off the head of the Queensland player. 
but poor ball security there from the young Penrith centre. What a gut-wrenching night to come up with a draw. That's the way it's looking, though. We're inside the last two. Langer, open side for Shearer. Walters on his outside. Shearer, from fullback, is living in the back line now. He might be the man they'll go to for the field goal. He is a bit of a hit-and-miss man. But when he gets onto one, he's probably the most capable drop -back kicker in the, uh, the Queensland team. Working towards the post now. Meninga plays the ball. Larson hits it up. I'll probably shoot for it, Ollie. Would think on not this but the next. That's if it's in their mind. Walters, 15 metres out from the line. Towards the post. has gone in to first receiver, but Langer's with the football. Goes for he's it. He's got it. I think he's got it. Langer. Langer has broken the deadlock. Five points to four in favour of Queensland. Well, I can't believe the lack of pressure there. Nobody going short. Sure Alan Langer. 38th minute, 5-4 to Queensland. They had to kick a field goal and nobody came flying through. We see Langer, look at that. Nobody coming through. That's it. That's curtains. 42 seconds. We've got to decide. Queensland have won the second state of origin again at Lang Park. Well, finally, the scoreboard has caught up. Five points to four. They didn't change the board. The crowd, they were puzzled, but they needn't be. This parochial Queensland crowd... They're going to go home with a victory. 19 seconds of the match remaining. Two more dummy half runs here. We'll see nothing at all from Queensland. Trevor Gilmeister into the dummy half position. Who's going to have the last touch of the football? Don't Steve crowd, Wallace. They counted down. Steve Wallace. What a great game of football. As far as excitement is concerned, it was a heart stopper. Queensland have won it. And so we go to the Sydney Football Stadium for the...